Hi guys, this is Asad Siddiqui and I'm the owner and developer at iDesignSmart.com. Uh, I decided to create a video for you design WordPress theme, how to customize it and how to set it up. Uh, I got a lot of questions. This was one of the themes that I really liked because it was very flexible. It had a very great uh, layout and it had good uh, things going on in the theme. Like I really like how the footer is. I really like how the homepage is set up. You can have a full width slider. It's great on the mobile screen. So it's a fully responsive site. Gives a good way to give you an introduction for your business and a quote or like some something that you want to um, make it stand out. And then briefly, you have nice sections here uh, to display some services with some pictures and d in different styles. So if you go to home here, you will have like different style home pages and they also provide you the code for that. So it's a very good theme if you want to get a site up and running real quick and it gives you a lot of customization options, which some of them will um, uh, I will show you how you can do color management and different kind of things in the theme. So let's get started. I have a sample uh, WordPress install over here. Uh, it's the most basic, if I visit this site, it's the most basic 2012 theme that I have set up. And as you can see right now, there is nothing on the website. So we will install the theme and then we will get started. So let's go ahead and install the theme. So I will go manage, add new. I purchased the theme from Theme Forest. So if you do that, they will give you a zip file that you can upload here in the WordPress backend. So I will upload it. And here it is. So I will just install now. Of course, you can also install it by uh, copying the uDesign20 directory under your wp-content forward slash themes directory there is a lot of documentation on that and videos that show you exactly how to do that so i'm not going to go in a lot of detail about uh, how to copy the theme on a wordpress install so as it is installing uh, we will go ahead like there are different home pages like if you can do, do home page five you will see that the layout will slightly change Okay, so I think we will just go with this layout just to show you a sample of what you can do. You can, of course, browse on, browse this site and get different kind of home pages. But I will just show you how to create a simple one just like this. So what we need to do is to install the theme. My theme is almost installed. It says 71%, so bear with me. Once the theme is installed, it comes with a lot of plugins uh, bundled into the theme that the theme works with. And this is also a plus some of the uh, plugins that it comes with are premium plugins and they really make it uh, stand out and you can do a lot of other cool things with that. So my theme is installed now and it is going to refresh the page and say that the theme got installed. Okay, so I will just say activate here means that I want to activate this theme and you saw, uh, you see this notice that says uh, activate install plugins and dismiss this notice. So I will just go ahead activate install plugins and you see all these plugins got installed. So I can just uh, activate everything in bulk. You might have slightly different um, Okay, so everything is activated. You see a revolution slider is showing up here. So if I go back and refresh this page, now you will see that my theme got installed here and it has some um, slider here and a home page is set up. So let's go ahead and set up revolution slider, a full width slider with a 500 pixel width or something like that. So I'll show you how to do that. You can just go to revolution slider and here I had one, I'll just delete it so you can you can see how to create a revolution slider. So if you're doing a fresh install of a theme, um, you will just have a blank screen. You will just say create new slider. 
and then you can be full width if you want a full width slider if you want responsive then you'll have to define different type of screen widths and what the slider width would be for that uh, screen width so i will just go full width and i will just make it for 450 and I'll just leave everything default right now. Just maybe change this timer to seven seconds. This is in milliseconds, so you have to do thousands and do create slider. Now, once you create slider, you can edit slides in the slider. Uh, okay, I didn't input the title, so I need to put in something for the title. And then I can click on edit slides and new slide. And I have a couple pictures uploaded here that I created for another client uh, for their sliders. And I'm just gonna set those up now. So you can put in any pictures. They have to be the right dimension, of course. So once you do that, you can also edit slide. And if you want some text, you can just click on the button, add layer, and then define your text here. Your text will show up here. You can drag and drop it. and create animation effects, uh, different kinds of uh, effects that something similar to like you see here in the home page. So text sliding in, it's dropping by, videos can come in. So all that stuff you can do here by configuring this text and video. It also has an option for video and images. So right now I won't change any of that. I will just close this. So I have two slides with just some pictures and I will close it. So now I've created a slider that is called home. I will just refresh it. I don't expect to see a new change because I am not um, configuring my theme to use my new slider. So I will just go ahead, click on U Design, and then scroll down to where it says Slider. Current slider is set to flash mode grid slider. I'm gonna change this to revolution slider and save and activate. Once that is done, you see all these options, like this is very feature rich theme. Not a lot of themes are going to give you these many options. So now you can save the changes. And now when I refresh, you will see my new slider showing up on the home page. So this is awesome. Uh, my slider is set up in like five minutes. Now what I need to do is um, this layout right now is not responsive. I haven't configured the site to be responsive. So if I resize this, oh, actually it is responsive. So by default, that flag was set because before when I use the seam, uh, the default option was not set to be responsive. So there is there is a flag in here in the theme that tells you that um, the site has to be responsive. I'll just search for it. So responsive layout, there is a checkbox and you can just check that and say save changes. Whenever this gets displayed on a mobile screen or an iPad, the slider is gonna resize and the navigation menu is gonna change. Okay, so I will just, um, now I will show you a quick uh, trick that you can do to create your home page with this theme now what else do we want to do we want to make this menu slightly different and the color scheme slightly different so what we will do is grab the code from you design wordpress theme go there get the code uh and i think i liked home page seven so there is, a, there is a link that says homepage before content and I'll put this link in the description so you can also check it out. So I will just copy this whole thing. Uh, that, that copy doesn't work. Um, so copy to clipboard. I copied the whole thing and now I'm going to start putting in the stuff. If you have to configure the home page you have to go to appearance widgets this is a widgetized theme so everything is controlled by widgets so home page before content is the area uh, like if i go back to the home page this area is home page before content so if i put this code right there uh, inside of a text widget so i will drag a text widget in and just paste this code as it comes and just say save. 
now when I go to my site and refresh it you will see that okay now I got that text too so I can go ahead and edit it if I want change the colors here change the style for this heading do pretty much anything I want so I can again go to the like all the content is here as you can see all the colors are defined in hex codes and I'll show you a cool tool in my other video that I will do to show you how you can um, define all the how how you can know about all these different color codes now what you need to do is to go back to that link and we were here in get the code so I will go there and I think we liked home page 7 so we I'll just click on that and copy this whole code and then go back to my site home page column 1 and drag a text widget right here and I will just paste it in so once I paste it in, it'll give me a good layout to get started from. Of course, you can you have a lot of options and you have a lot of different styles that you can do to uh, create your homepage. So now you see that there are three columns that got added and these are three nice things that you can do to uh, create your services. So you can read more, you can create pages and you can link these buttons with your uh, page now what I'm going to do is put on some sample image here so it this doesn't look broken I will just put on that uh, picture that I had for the Snickers bar and see if the size works there or not so I will just go to media uh, library open this in a new window and there is a snicker bars a snicker bar right here so I'll just click on that and get this URL uh, where my Snickers bar is and what you need to do to replace those images is there's an image source tag right here so if the image source tag you can just I don't know if this is going to work or not because of the size but we will just give it a try and see what happens so I will replace all source with my pictures and then we will see what happens the image had to be 420 by 200 I believe so let's see if this resizes it or not so if I refresh the page now you see so there is a nice resized image that is styled by uh, by the theme so the image gets resized and then you have three nice sections here uh, that you can do to um, display your services and read more now what I'm I'm going to do is to put some more text like this uh, after this uh, services so I'll go back again to my widgets and I'll grab whatever I had in this box and I will just copy that and then I come back to my site this supports short code so I can say divider inside of uh, my text and it's gonna be a line that divides these two sections remember that when you're using home page column 1 don't use home page column 2 3 4 because then your uh, content is, will start getting messed up so you can just do everything in home page content 1 so you see that another section got added you can put a background color if you want in here and you can pretty much do whatever you want uh, with custom styles I have another video on how to do custom styles uh, for WordPress websites so you can copy this stuff now we are just going to create a footer like a sample footer so I'm gonna go to widgets and the footer is controlled by these three bottom um, sections so I will go in here in the in the first one I will just uh, create a text widget and put the content here and then maybe after that is done we will uh, also put a navigation inside of the first section and right now I'll just leave everything as default the second one I can just create a this and put in some sample text automatically add paragraphs and save I'll just give it a title as well so this text can be formatted as you like so uh, you can change the colors you have total um, control over that and 
and if you see uh, there are custom options that are custom widgets that this uh, theme also creates so you can do uh, maybe a login form for example so you can do a login form and then you can also create a text widget and just paste in that code that I just copied for sample and in the fourth one you can just say you can also display a revolution slider uh, if you want on your footer so there are all these widgets that you could use to style your home page and not only home page but any page pretty much that you want so I'll just call it footer 4 and the next video that I'm gonna do is gonna talk more about the customizations and different color schemes and uh, different fonts and how do you how do you pick a different color for this theme so right now pretty much everything is safe and now I'm going to refresh this page and once I refresh this page all this footer starts showing up as well so I think we have a pretty decent uh, first page going pretty much everything is set up and um, you you see how easy that is how fast that is and uh, how professional it looks maybe we can make it look much more professional as well so stay tuned and uh, look uh, what, look out for the second video that I'm going to do we'll talk about menus how to customize them how to style them differently colors how to manage those and how to style them differently so stay tuned and thanks for watching